Hi Neil. Hi there. Uh, nice to meet you. Yeah, um, you. I'm here with the Classic Motorcycle Channel. Been looking at your bike. Mm -hmm. It's quite familiar to oh. Rob North because I remember this bike in 2012. Ah. With the VMCC, there was a parade lap, and it yep. was very, very wet. And actually, I was in front of you on a Honda 500, and you was uh, behind right. me. Right. Okay. So today, I'm going to ask you. Today, I want you to talk about your bike mm -hmm. and tell me how it came to be and what you've done to it and what the engines had done to it. That's special. So, in your own words. Okay. Yes. Tell thanks me about very much. Bike. Okay. It's, it's a Rob North. Um, Rob North were a special frame that Triumph Commission in the early 70s. They were trying to race. Uh, and they realised that the standard frame just wasn't up to it, so they got a guy called Rob North to make these special frames. So ever since, ever since then, these bikes have been known as Rob Norths. This particular one is an 850. They were 70s originally, but 850 gives it a bit more power. Um, it's got a six-speed box on it. We changed the clutch from the original clutch to a, an external air clutch, makes it a lot lighter on the hand, less, less, uh, less slip and so on. Got, it's got some very special cams in it from America and uh, some bigger carburetors, so quite a lot of things done. Since the original bikes, we use a billet crankshaft in them, for, which makes it much, much, much stronger. We also changed the oil system. It's got a higher flow and a higher pressure pump switching. Am I right in saying that some of the early ones had trouble with the cylinder head yeah, area? Yeah, we had so lots of troubles with the cylinder heads on, on the early ones. I and didn't you, want to say too much. No, was no. that more like valve guides and valves, um, dropping valves? Yeah, what it used to happen is the guides themselves used to move in the cylinder head. So then the whole thing became loose. You kind of wobble about a bit like that and wear it quite badly. Was this because the centre cylinder got rather hot? Yes, it was. Now, what we do on the centre cylinder, we run bigger main jet on the centre cylinder than we do on the two outside oh, ones. right. And that helps it when it's a bit cooler. We also want a different plug in the centre cylinder. We want a hotter plug. And all that helps deal with that extra heat that the centre cylinder generates. The outside cylinder, getting all from the fresh air, the centre is kind of trapped in the middle. So it does some um, get hotter. It's just got the central... Um, spark plug as well. That's been repositioned, hasn't it? Yes. In the yeah, yeah. The repositioned, and again, that gives you a better burn because instead of burning to one side of the cylinder, it's burning right in the middle of the piston, which makes it much, much better. You get a much better burn, much more power, actually. So it's, it's quite good. But Neil, can we have your bike outside in the moment and just hear it fired up? Yes. Yeah, you can indeed. We'll brilliant. start it off through later. And this is straight through. Uh, uh, no, uh, this one is baffled at the minute. Oh, yes. Mod modern rules say for some circuits we have to have a noise limit. The noise limit is 105 decibels. Without the baffle, it's about 130 decibels. But if we don't have the baffle in, we can't race at some events. Thanks, Neil. Thanks You're very much. Very okay. welcome. Good to see you.